This is Max Williams with United Real Estate Today. I'm in Western Henrico. Today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, three full bath home. This home is located here in an interesting block. But we have uh, other two story, mostly brick homes here in the neighborhood. And uh, this is a brand new renovation. And I am thoroughly impressed with what they did here with this home. If you've been watching the channel for any period of time, you know that one of the challenges with the renovations with the older homes is doing a renovation and giving a modern floor plan that's conducive to today's lifestyle. So there are a number of things I love with what they did uh, here at this home. Not only were they able to configure a very functional floor plan, but it's also a very stylish home. And uh, you can really tell when a rehabber uh, has pride in their work and really uh, goes the extra mile to produce a really good looking home. We have a nice private lot, um, still a little bit of TLC needed back here, but uh, there is plenty of space. If you wanted to have a garden, uh, there's just loads of possibilities back here uh, in this backyard. We are fenced here on two sides. There's a, a, a smaller fence here on this side, uh, but definitely a lot of useful space. We also fortunately have a really nice oversized deck as well. As you can see, we're 100% brick and we have slate roof. I love slate for a roofing material because it will last a very, very long time, extremely durable. And then if it ever does need maintenance, it may be uh, replacing or repositioning a um, slate piece or so, not a complete roof replacement uh, in most cases. So love what we see here. We do have replacement windows. These are going to be uh, double zone heating and air. We're going to have a unit up in the attic, and I imagine there is a unit probably in the crawl space as well. I didn't see a closet uh, with a unit in it, but we definitely have one in the attic. So, uh, new electrical in this beautiful home as well. Let's go on in and take a look, see what they did here in this beauty. All right, as we come in here to the right, that door in the middle of the frame is going to be to a uh, suite. I'm going to call it a first floor suite. Uh, we, of course, have the wood burning fireplace. Uh, this is going to be a more formal space. Uh, we're going to have another space that probably is a little uh, less formal. Our stairs, of course, going up. Now, look at all the detail here on the wall. So we have extensive uh, woodwork here, and that's one of the things that we see in these older homes that you're not going to get in new construction. So a uh, very nice touch. This, of course, is going to be our dining area open to our Eden kitchen. And I'm sure what they did here was open up this wall. Uh, we see we've got the header going all the way across. Uh, most likely there was a wall here and the kitchen was closed off. So by opening this up, it made it much more functional for today's lifestyle. Here in our kitchen, 42 inch cabinets. We have beautiful quartz countertop. Now, one of the things they did, which is a really nice touch here, is they gave us a quartz backsplash too. So you can see it, of course, matches the counter. I think that's a really nice touch. The home does feature stainless appliances. This is gonna be a Whirlpool package. And we've got fridge with ice and water in the door, as well as that smooth top and Whirlpool microwave. Here at our sink, we've got a nice deep stainless sink with the commercial style faucet. And then of course, our window looking right out onto the deck in the backyard. As we spin around, we have enough seating here for two or three at the island. And uh, just a really nice flow here on this side of the home. Okay, here in the middle of the home, this is going to be under stair storage. And you could, uh, if you wanted to, you could put some shelving up there uh, or make it just simply a cleaning closet. But one of the things I noticed also, we have some absolutely stunning wood floors. There's nothing like this real wood once it's finished and brought back to life. Uh, it just is really nice to look at and just gives you the feel of luxury. Okay, here we are in our deck got an oversized deck it's got plenty of space back here to set out lawn furniture and enjoy the outdoors 
we do have, of course, a walkway going from that door on the rear, and then there's going to be a door on the side. We're going to see that here momentarily. All right, we're going to come back in, of course, our fireplace. I want to talk about this fireplace a little bit. Notice the detail we have here on the wall, but this surround here is also uh, granite, and that's going to be Uba Tuba. That's the name of the species of granite that is a surround that fireplace. Uh, look at the woodwork here as well. Just a really nice presentation. All right, that door we are going to come back through. So keep that in mind. You're going to see that door again, but we're going to go here to our left. We've got a uh, two steps down. We now have a uh, LVP type material. Notice in this space, we have the recessed lights. There's also another fireplace there uh, at the wall and enough seating here. You could really make this a nice little cozy area. Uh, this could either be family room, uh, our door, of course, going out back that we just saw. Uh, plenty of natural light flows in. And here to the right, this is going to be our laundry. So we've got hookups there. You can get a side-by-side, -side, uh, full-size units there. Our electric water heater is right here in this closet. All right, our door to the left. This is going to qualify as a legitimate bedroom. We've got privacy and we've got a closet directly ahead. So this will be a first floor bedroom. Now, this would also make an ideal office. You could actually use this door, come in and out of the office and not have to go through the home. So for people that work from home, if you occasionally have business visitors, now they can come directly into the home and be, basically be uh, just here in the office space. They don't have to really go through the home uh, if desired. We of course have our closet right here. I love that we have a three quarter bath right here on suite to this room. So once again, that is conducive to not only a bedroom, but also if you had an office, you, you uh, basically wouldn't have to go to any other part of the home. You could of course close that door right there and be kind of self-contained. Gorgeous shower here we've got the detachable head this is actually a new design i haven't this is magnetic y'all i have never seen that before it just snaps right on there magnetic so you don't have to really do a whole lot that is new shower head technology i have not been privy to that in the past okay i'm going to spin around and we have our vanity right behind me that's not the only real neat feature here you're going to see another one that i really really like uh, as well. All right, directly through. Now, you've seen this door before. I mentioned it earlier. So we are back here in our original uh, entry and uh, family room. And we are now gonna go upstairs and see what we have in store up there. I just love all the detail here uh, in this home that you get in these older homes. So they did a fabulous job in uh, bringing this home back. Right here, this is an access panel, as you can see, we have our bathroom there. So if you ever needed to access the plumbing, you just simply can take that panel off and don't have to bust up the uh, drywall in order to do any work to the plumbing. Okay, this is going to be secondary bedroom. This is a really good size bedroom. Uh, you could get a king size bed in here. Our closet, of course, straight ahead. Love the color scheme and also these really cute little ceiling pans that they use. Really neat selection there. This is a door to a smaller closet, but more importantly, we go up the stairs there, and of course we have the unfinished attic. So we've got uh, some good storage space up there, new heating and air systems, so this home should be very efficient. We also have remote controls here for all of the fans. Here to the right, this is gonna be the most conservative of the bedrooms. Uh, this would be an excellent nursery or it could be a home office. Uh, this could be storage room, just a number of different ways that this could go. And our closet right there. They did the same ceiling fan in all of these bedrooms. We have a linen closet here in the hallway and our hall bath. 
All right, very nicely done. You can see uh, we've got the same color scheme here. Here in the tub shower area, we've got a graphic design here on our tile. And I think it just really makes this shower pop. We've got two product nooks and of course a new tub. Now here on this side, I'm gonna to talk to you here in the next bathroom about that mirror, that vanity mirror that is lit, lit, lit in more ways than one. We have our upstairs thermostat. So the beauty of the two zone system is upstairs can be controlled, downstairs can be controlled independently. So that's a beautiful feature. Uh, I know a lot of people prefer to have their bedrooms at a different temperature than perhaps the rest of the home. This is going to be closet number one, walk-in closet. And then here to the right is going to be closet number two. So we've got this one here with natural light and uh, two closets in an older home, not something we see very often. So I'm really impressed with that. Crown molding here in this bedroom as well. Another really nice touch. All right, let's transition now into our primary bath. And here she is, look at that double vanity, really good looking fixtures, ceramic tile on the floor. This is gonna be an octagon shape here on the floor. I love they gave us a little pop of color there in the shower. We've got a white tile with a blue uh, accent in that grain. It's a really nice look. And then here to the right, we've got uh, some storage shelves and of course the throne there in the corner with a view. So nothing like having a seat with a view. Really nicely done. Now, here's one of my favorite features. You can see on the left, the light is not on for the mirror. On the right, it is on. But we have controls, y'all. This is going to be uh, for color temperature. You guys know that I'm a photography nerd. So this is for color temperature. Let's say you know you're gonna be someplace where it's gonna be tungsten light. Ladies, if you're putting on makeup, tungsten light is a warmer light than incandescent. So see how it went from warm or orange to a more blue light? That is color temperature. And then we've got the moon here, and I believe that is for daylight. So three different color temperatures, you can take this light up, off, and different intensities and then you can turn it on and off right there. So really neat feature that is high tech vanity lighting. Now, the other thing that's important about a light like that is it's all around your face and there is nothing better than what we call soft light. It will make you look about 33% better than you really do. So photographers love soft light. It makes our job much easier. And if you buy this house, you will too. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. If you have any questions, please be sure to reach out. I would love to be of assistance. I can be reached on Facebook under Rich Minary Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.